presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Well, Ohio Valley, a shift in winds have finally occurred. Now, with that being said, that means a downward trend in temperatures. We maxed out today at 50, right around 2 in the morning. Since then, we have that westerly wind component. We have cooler air continuing to filter its way in through the tri-state area and winds have been slightly noticeable. It's more so blowing right around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Winds stay within this range as we head in through your turkey day, but still won't be anything problematic, nor is the rainfall that we are experiencing up in the Hancock, Brook and northern Jefferson County. Not really seeing much. It's more so just patchy precip in the form of light mist. We can call it a drizzle. Light rain, also a possibility or uh, some adjectives to describe what's ongoing. Now, in terms of cloud coverage, we are reporting that across the tri-state area, out the door temperatures range in the upper 30s, low 40s. We have plenty of moisture to tap into with relative humidity values right around the 90th percentile. Now, we could still squeeze out a straight pocket of mist, uh, at least along the mighty Ohio River, uh, even continuing on for the rest of this evening. But right now, our winds right around 5 to 10, but we will stay a bit more noticeable as we head through the day tomorrow. We continue to see that downward trend in temperatures, upper 30s, closer to midnight, middle 30s by the time we step out the door for your turkey day tomorrow. It's mid to low 30s, so there will be that seasonal chill as you step out the door, perhaps doing a turkey trot before your big meal, playing some uh, football, uh, especially with the pigskin. Uh, would not be a bad opportunity to do so tomorrow. We trend dry. Just a bit cooler to begin the day. What about for the holiday itself? I'm glad you asked. The holiday preview features a mixture of sun and clouds. Temperatures for this stage of November should be right around the upper 40s. And that's where we expect to max out. We will have cloud coverage around. We filter in just a bit of sun late morning, further into the afternoon. Clouds return for your Black Friday shopping endeavors. Cooler air does settle in. We wake up on Saturday morning in the mid 20s. So it will cool off as we head into your weekend. There's also a return of potential precip by the time we head in through your day Sunday. But Predictor has those clouds more so blanketing our region, and those are more so expected to stay overhead. Cool air drives in due to that westerly, if anything, that northwest northwesterly component. Now, with that being said, we have that cooler air starting to settle in. It's not going to be as chilly if we didn't have those clouds insulating us or acting as a blanket as we step out the door Thursday morning. So the clouds will be around. We gradually clear out as we approach lunch and then further into the afternoon. Although this model isn't indicating much, it's mid to upper level clouds that start to move on through. There will be pockets of sunshine. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to be anything widespread, nor what I would say as or call it as a sun filled sun. That's not more so the setup. It's more so broken clouds. If anything, we'll call it partly cloudy for sky coverage. In terms of temperatures for your weekend, mid 40s for your Saturday chance for some scattered showers as we approach Sunday evening, continuing on into a potential transition to some spotty snow flurries. It's not going to stick nor accumulate, but temperatures cool off significantly. We go from the mid to upper 40s on Sunday mid to upper 30s for your Monday and Tuesday. We gradually warm back up mid 40s midway through our next work week.